Hi, today we'll be solving Gate Statistics 2021 questions. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Question number one, we have been given x follows Poisson distribution with expected value of x square equals to 1, 1, 10. And we have to see which of these statements is not true. So whenever x follows Poisson distribution, expected value of x square equals to 1, 1, 10, we know that expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square equals to expected value of x because mean and variance are same. So we will get the value of lambda. So lambda equals to 10. Let's check for the first statement. Let k equals to 7. So I will write probability x equals to 7 equals to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 7 upon 7 factorial and probability x equals to 8 that is probability x equals to k plus 1 is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 8 upon 8 factorial. So if I would like to check the first statement, I will simply take the ratio of both the probabilities. Since this ratio is less than 1, we find that first statement is true. Moving on to the next part, we see that probability x is e1 is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power 0 upon 0 factorial plus e to the power minus lambda, lambda square upon 2 factorial. Now the question arises, how do we find this value? So consider s. Consider P. And we see that adding S and P and dividing by 2 gives the required value. So now we have probability x equals to e1 is equal to so this does not match with the options given hence this is false. We have gotten our answer but still to justify we will look at the other options as well. The third option is expected value of x to the power n is equal to 10 times expected value x plus 1 to the power n minus 1. Here this option is also right. And looking at option 4, we find the probability x equals to k for k equals to 10 and 11. Upon finding the ratio, we see that 11 upon lambda is greater than 1. Hence, fourth option is also correct. Let's look at the next question. We have been given a very general simple linear regression model. We have been given two parameters. The method followed to obtain these parameters estimates as ordinary least square estimates. We have been given x bar, s1, s2. And we have to find the variance of beta naught hat plus c. Now variance of beta naught hat plus c, where c is a constant, is variance of beta naught itself. We know that beta 1 is equal to summation xi yi upon summation xi square. And we know that variance of beta 1 is equal to sigma square upon summation xi square. And what is beta naught? Beta naught is y bar minus x bar beta 1. And covariance between y bar and beta 1 is equal to 0. So we have variance of beta naught equals to sigma square upon n plus x bar square sigma square upon summation xi square. Which is the required answer.
Next is a very easy question. We have been given three uncorrelated random variables with common variance sigma square. We don't need mean here, but without loss of generality, we can assume that the mean of xi is equal to zero. We have been given three variables y1 equals to 2x1 plus x2 plus x3, y2 equals to x1 plus 2x2 plus x3, and by 3 equals to x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 and we have to check which of these following statements are true. First, we will check for sum of eigenvalues of a variance covariance matrix of y1, y2, y3 is equal to 18 sigma square. So we know variance of y1 is equal to variance of 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 which is equal to 6 sigma square. Similarly, variance of y2 is equal to 6 sigma square, variance of y3 is equal to 6 sigma square. Now we know that sum of eigenvalues is equal to trace of the matrix and trace of the given matrix is equal to summation variance of y i which is equal to 18 sigma square. So P is correct. Then we have correlation coefficient. Since we observe that all of these variances are same, we simply aim to look at the covariance between Y A and Y J. Covariance between Y1 and Y2 is equal to Five sigma square. Similarly, covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to five sigma square. Five sigma square. Similarly, covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to five sigma square. Five sigma square. Similarly, covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to five sigma square. Five sigma square. Similarly, covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to five sigma square. Five sigma square. Similarly. Covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to 5 sigma square. 5 sigma square. Similarly, covariance between y2 and y3 is equal to 5 sigma square. Since both of these are equal, both P and Q are correct. This question is one of the most easy questions you will find in this whole exam. Now, in this question, we are mainly concerned with the numbers. Let's look at the options. Let's make the contingency table here and let's put the numbers. Whenever we are dealing with a contingency table with R columns and S rows, the degree of freedom is R minus 1 into S minus 1. So here the degree of freedom is 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1. Now we will find the chi-square statistic. There are two ways to find it. Either we find the summation of difference between observed and expected values and divided by expected values or simply apply the formula. When I apply this formula, the value I get is Twenty by three. So the correct option is two.